It's almost the FNAF 10th anniversary, and for the FNAF 10th anniversary, we're getting a bunch of new stuff. And all of this stuff was just announced just now, and we're going to go through every single thing, including some new games and possibly a collab with Fortnite. Probably a collab with Fortnite. Let's get started. Here we go. So it all started yesterday with this tweet on the official FNAF Scott Games account, where they said that there's going to be something new announced every day from August 1st to August 8th. So they said, stay tuned for the full August schedule dropping tomorrow. And today is tomorrow. So today they tweeted this. They said, as promised, here is the planned August lineup. And we're going to go one by one down this list. So August 1st, we are getting the My Pop Goes full game release. This is a FNAF fan game for the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. This is the full Steam page right here. And honestly, this game looks super cool. It's it's honestly such a great idea and it's so unique. And I, I, I honestly can't wait. I might even live stream myself playing this. I don't really play uh, fan games on the channel. I should though. I should play more. But yeah, the game looks really cute and I can't wait to check it out whether that's on live stream or on my own. The art style is so unique and I'm really proud of everyone, Kane Carter and the team. Uh, congrats on this. Next on August 2nd, we have another fanverse project, the Joy of Creation Remake Demo. I am so excited for this. The Joy of Creation, and especially the developer Nixon, is one of my favorite developers in the fan community. Um, and also the Joy of Creation is probably my favorite FNAF fan game. This is the Steam page for the Joy of Creation Remake. It looks insane. Like, these screenshots are incredible. The graphics on this game are insane. Nixon is is so talented and so deserving of all the success that he, he has gotten. So, I'm super excited for this game. There was also a trailer released. I'll leave the trailer in the description below if you want to check it out. But the trailer looks... It's, it looks insane. And congrats to everyone on this team as well. This looks incredible. Next up is one of the more juicier ones lore-wise. We are getting August 3rd VIP interactive novel for free. I have no idea what this could mean. I mean, obviously, it's a interactive novel. I assume it's called VIP and it's going to be free obviously, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this interactive novel had a ton of lore in it. We know that Scott isn't scared of putting things out for free, especially things with a ton of lore in them. I mean, FNAF 6, I believe, was released originally for free, and that's one of the most lore-heavy games in the franchise. So maybe this is him finally answering one question from the original FNAF games for the 10th anniversary. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe it's Midnight Motorist. That'd be awesome. I don't know, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm actually super excited for that one, so can't wait to see what that's going to be. Another juicy one is August 4th, we're getting a Steel Wool announcement, and I have no idea what this is going to be. I don't want to hype you up and say it's going to be a brand new game or anything. I have no idea. All I know is that if you watched the Steel Wool interview that I did on the channel, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. I asked JTop if he has any plans for the FNAF 10th anniversary, and he just said that he's going to get a carrot cake. So is this Steel Wool announcement something to do with Cassie, continuing Cassie's story? I have no idea. I guess we'll have to wait and see. It could be anything but i am super excited for that because if it actually is like a fall fest game that they've been teasing i'm going to lose my mind i mean not the fall fest game coming out but them announcing that the fall fest game is coming i have no idea i guess we'll have to wait and see i am so excited and then august 5th we're getting another scott cawthon interview with Daco, and it's really interesting because i feel like the first scott cawthon interview was so long and had so many details i wonder what else there is to say i guess there's going to be a lot of talk about the games that have come out since i mean i don't even think fnaf ar was out when that first scott interview came out so there's fnaf ar there's fnaf security breach there's fnaf help wanted 2 there's the movies there's a lot of things to talk about so i hope there's some little tidbits of lore confirmation in there, but we'll have to wait and see. But super proud of Daco. Can't wait to check the interview out. And that is coming out August 5th. August 6th is a really exciting one. So as you can see, it says question mark, question mark, question mark, collab announcement. And it's actually interesting because people think that this might be a Fortnite collab. Five Nights at Freddy's x Fortnite. This is something I talked about years ago on this channel that has been a possibility for a long time but has never come to be. But notice that this announcement is on August 6th. And it was actually revealed that Fortnite is getting an update on August 6th. So this was announced before the FNAF announcements even came out that an update was happening on August 6th. And then we see that on August 6th, there's a collab announcement with Five Nights at Freddy's. I honestly think it's Fortnite. And if it is Fortnite, I'm going to be playing Fortnite on this channel for the first time. I love Fortnite. I recently got into it. The no build got me. I know. I know. And I don't think I'm half bad at Fortnite. So it'll be interesting to play Fortnite on the channel as Freddy Fazbear because, you know, I got to get the skin. 
I got to. And then we got August 7th, Five Laps at Freddy's by Click Team Demo. This is a brand new FNAF game by Click Team. And I think it's going to be a Mario Kart kart racer type game for FNAF, which is insane. Recently, Click Team has been teasing that they're working on something FNAF, putting out teasers like this and like this. And it never really made any sense. Like we had no idea what they were working on. People thought it was FNAF World 2, maybe. I don't think so. I don't know if Scott would want anyone else to make FNAF World 2 except for him. It looks like it's going to be a kart racer and it makes sense. Like this shirt looks like one of those flags that they wave in races, if you know what I'm talking about, the checkered flags. So yeah, we actually might be getting a FNAF kart racer game, which is crazy. And I also will be playing that on the channel. It's going to be a busy week on this channel. So make sure you subscribe for all these updates. And then finally, we have a release date for Into the Pit. August 8th into the pits for the FNAF anniversary is being released and I will be live streaming it on the channel and I'm so excited for this game. It looks insane. The art style is so cool and I think it's going to be a hit. I talked about into the pit in my last video. So if you want to check that out, go check out my last video. But also they said there may also be movie updates sprinkled in as well. And also this list may change as the time gets closer. But regardless of what the final schedule ends up being, it will be a fun August. We got FNAF fan games stuff. We got a new FNAF book. We got a Steel Wool announcement. We got a Scott Cawthon interview. We got possibly a Fortnite collab. We got a new FNAF game that's a kart racer, probably five laps at Freddy's, Into the Pit full game release on the anniversary, plus some movie updates. That is is insane. I'm going to be covering all this stuff on the channel and I honestly as a fan of this franchise am genuinely so excited for all of this. So if you want to see me play these games and talk about the possible lore drops that might be happening with the anniversary, make sure to subscribe, turn on that post notification bell so you know right when I upload. And thank you so much for watching. This was a FNAF news video. My name is John and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.